and we have uh, three wonderful people to honor tonight. And our first award will be um, the Hubert Kessler Service Award. For those of you who don't know Hubert, I want you to know him a little better. Um, he is from Tuscaloosa. He is a past president of USTA Alabama. He was a volunteer in his city. He volunteered for USTA Southern. He was an avid league player and USTA age group player. And it's a very special award to us on the committee because he was our chair. Um, and this year, um, Keith Swindle, the director of tennis from Indian Hills Country Club, a board member for USTA Alabama and a Hall of Fame member, will be introducing to you Martha Zena from Tuscaloosa. So at this time, I'd like to have Keith come up to introduce Martha. Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to also mention Jeff, uh, all the work you put into this and your committee, thank you for all that you do because you make this night go so seamlessly and special for those of us that have been in the Hall of Fame and for Martha who's getting, in, who's getting the Hubert Kessel Award. And, we really do appreciate all your work. Elaine and Sam, welcome to the club. Mm -hmm. uh, you did miss one thing, my friend, because I snuck in here at the end. Kurt Keating's wife, Claire, is here. And his daughter, Christine McCarthy. You see, I, I, um, this is going to be hard for Jeff to understand, but when I was in college, you know, when you, when you go to the class and the first day they can hand out the syllabus and the professor tells you about what, how, the, you know, everything you're going to have to do for, this, for that course, if they said that there was an oral presentation, I dropped the class. <laughs> you believe that, Jeff? <laughs> well, it's true. But I've learned from some very important people in my life, and when my, my best friend, Mark Kessler, called and asked me if I would introduce, this is normally Mark Kessler, Hubert Kessler's son's job. And if you've ever heard Mark speak, he learned it from his dad, and he is so eloquent. He makes everyone feel like they're a part of it. And so I'm gonna try my best to channel my innermost Mark Kessler and Hubert Kessler. Because if Hubert were here tonight, he would have already been asking Jeff and I who each and every one of you were. And he would recognize each and every one of you before this speech was over tonight. You would know that he knew you and you would feel like a huge part of this. Am I right, John? Hubert is one of those go-to guys. You know, when I was getting, putting everything together for Martha, that's the thing that kept coming up. Martha is our go-to person. Martha is our person who's behind the scenes. She never, she never asked for any kind of recognition. I've had tennis committees. I've had Crimson Racket Club. We've had ATA boards. Martha has been involved in all of those things. Crimson Racket Club, Tuscaloosa Tennis Association. But she's not looking to hold a post. She doesn't want the name. She doesn't want the title. She's your go-to person when you need something done. She was a team captain for these lovely ladies here on the front row here. And I promise you, you could ask Joe, or you could ask Carolyn, or Kathy, or Celia, and they would tell you that for all the years that Martha was their captain, they didn't have to worry about anything because Martha had to take care of. She had you there on time, she had the lineup, she had the balls, she had the food. You didn't have to worry about anything because she loved you guys and she just wanted you to come and have a good time. And she took care of things for you. Right now for the summer, my wife had a stroke. So we have this huge tournament every year that Hubert Kessler used to, he, he and Kurt made it to this huge event in Tuscaloosa where we have over 200 men every, for a week. And I'm in the hospital with my wife. Well, what did I do? I went to my go-to, Martha. And she went to her go-to, Christine, and all her other friends. And they made that tournament go off without a hitch. That's what, that's what somebody, that's what a volunteer does. That's what a true volunteer who is giving you of their time, of their energy, for nothing else except they want, they want things to be better for everybody. And 
That's who you are, Martha. I got one more thing. So um, Martha's biggest passion now is, is the um, University of Alabama women's tennis team. She has been a tireless worker. If you come to an Alabama women's tennis match or a men's match, Martha's the first one there. She's bringing her little, her, her little stories in. She's bringing in tablecloths. She's bringing in food. She's bringing in Gatorade. She's bringing in things to make it look nice. She's there before any, any of the girls get there. She's the last one to leave. And she makes it special. If we have anything that we have, and she has a crew, Bob once said, there's other people that help her. But she's the ringleader, and they would tell you that. So I want to read you a letter that um, Jenny Mines wrote for Martha. This will sum it up, Jeff. I know I went longer than two minutes, but I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> for me. I've known Martha Zena for the past 19 years since my arrival to the University of Alabama. Martha has unselfishly given so much time and energy to the Tuscaloosa Tennis Association, the Crimson Racket Club, and our University of Alabama tennis programs. There are a few ways that Martha has been very successful in making all of these tennis organizations she's involved with better. Martha's love for the game of tennis and her love for building others up have positively impacted all these groups. Martha's next gift is that she makes all these tennis groups better is that she's always willing to serve others. And, and she just goes on and on, whether it's parents and family weekends, senior weekends, SEC tournaments, ITA kickoff weekends. Lastly, Martha cares deeply for Alabama tennis student athletes, coaches, support staff, and the Tuscaloosa tennis community. Martha's vision is for everyone to lead the University of Alabama, tennis fans, student athletes, opposing teams, and coaches with a memorable experience. Her loyalty and commitment to tennis in the Tuscaloosa community is admirable. Thank you to Martha Zena for her love, her service, and her caring spirit. She has undoubtedly made a lasting impression on our Alabama tennis community. Martha. know Hubert was a prince of a guy. <laughs> All of you, you know that. And he did such great things for tennis and devoted so much of his time to make the game better and to benefit the game. And he was definitely the consummate volunteer. So when Jeff called me about this award, I told him, I said, Jeff, I'm really very flattered, but I'm not sure I can measure up to Hubert Kessler. <laughs> and I don't know that for sure that I deserve this. And he said, well, there are people who think that you do. So I want to thank them, beginning with Keith, for nominating me and all the nice things he just said. Also, to those who wrote letters on my behalf, and especially, of course, to the committee for selecting me, and then particularly to the people who came here tonight to support me. <clears throat> and I also want to thank the Kessler family for establishing this award. What a wonderful way to memorialize Hubert and to continue his legacy. So um, in closing, I just want to say that I am truly honored to have my name added to that beautiful crystal trophy that bears his name. Thank you.